Hello, 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 hello. I am finally recording the video that I've been saying I was gonna record, which is sharing with you guys what I've been up to and giving you guys an update of what my current job situation is. The last video I uploaded was my first job experience as a developer, and it's been quite a few years since then, so some stuff has changed. Today was actually my last day at my current company. This was the job that I had right after my first job, and if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link the video down below. Yeah, I was at this company for about two years, which is the longest I've ever been at a company, and it was very bittersweet leaving today. The company treated me really well, it was a very cushy job. The work-life balance was amazing. Very flexible hours. Um, my work hours were 11 to 7, which is pretty awesome. I went in that late because I wanted to beat traffic, and they allowed me to work from home whenever I wanted. They paid me very well, and it was not stressful at all. So it was a very hard decision to leave, and I think I made the right choice. This past year, I just realized that I had no passion for the product that I was working on. And I think as a developer, it's really important because you are working directly with the product and if you don't have any interest in it, you really don't care what direction it goes in. I realized that, so I decided to start looking and um, seeing what, was, what else was out there. And what I found was the startup that I actually applied to last year. What happened was I found out my friend was working at this company and I was so surprised because I didn't, had no idea they were in Los Angeles. I used the product before. They're in the blockchain industry. So I was like super excited and I really wanted to work there because they're literally their headquarters is literally in downtown LA and I was very excited about this opportunity and he was able to um, give me a, uh, get me an interview and I went through with it and they sent me an offer but unfortunately it is like a startup so they weren't able to pay me as much as my company was paying me before then. This was a year ago so I applied last year and um, so I rejected the offer because I needed the money and I realized that I could use that extra time that my current company gave me to work on other hobbies like YouTube. So that's what happened literally like a year ago. And this year, I just realized that money isn't everything and I can always make more money another time. I'm still young. I have no family. Uh, I mean, I have family, but I don't have children. I really only need to take care of myself, so I decided that it was a good time to take the risk, to take the pay cut, and take the benefits cut, because it's definitely not gonna be as cushy as my current company. So I decided to take the risk, and I am starting on Monday, and I am super stoked, and I am sorry if this video is everywhere. My thoughts are kind of just like going in all different kinds of directions, so please bear with me. I don't have unlimited PTO anymore, which, can also be a scam, I guess you can say, because I definitely would have cashed out some PTO if I had it at my current company, but since I didn't, I didn't cash anything out. But having unlimited PTO when you first start is also awesome because you don't have to wait for the accrual. But anyway, that's a topic for another day. I realized that I was really comfortable at my current job, and I realized that at my age, you don't really need to be comfortable and the only way for things to change and for you to grow is for you to get out of your comfort zone. So that's why I decided to take the risk. I know in my previous video I was also working at a startup, but I made sure that they get paid on time. That was my number one priority. And my friend works there too, like I mentioned, so that'll be really fun. Um, working with him. He was also my coworker back at my first job, so he totally understands what I've been through. So if this new company resembled uh, my first job at all, then I don't think he would have recommended it. So I, I have faith that it's gonna be a lot better than my first job. This past year, I just, I just did not feel fulfilled. I don't know if that's a millennial in me. I just realized that if I was gonna spend 40 hours of my week doing something, it had to be centered around something that I was actually passionate about and was interested in. And 
I realized that money comes and goes, so that really should not be a reason why I stay at a company. I went to their office and the culture seems great. Um, working in a corporate environment, things are so quiet and things move so slowly. It gets really boring. I think that working at a startup will give me a lot more experience at my old company, I it was very corporate, so there was a lot of levels that you had to go through in order for a decision to be made, and I really feel like I didn't have a voice. I mean, I guess that's partly my fault too. I think I was more there to absorb all the information and to see how developers interact with each other, like during sprint plan meetings and grooming. But I feel like at the next, at my new company, I'm not gonna have that choice because it's gonna be so much smaller. So I think I'll have to step up, and I think it'll be a really good. It would be a really good experience for me as a developer. Yeah, and I decided this is going to be the first video of my new vlog series. So you guys will be joining along with me um, throughout my new journey at this new company. And hopefully everything works out. And you know, there's so many jobs out there. So if this doesn't go well, I can always find another job. Hopefully for a product that I actually am interested in. I think now that I have a couple of years of experience, I don't need to just work for anything or like for any product. I feel like I have the experience now, so I should be able to work in the industry that I want to work for, which is also the reason why I went to coding because you can literally work in any industry. You're not really stuck in one particular industry because right now tech is needed almost everywhere and yeah that's kind of why i haven't really been uploading at all this year i've been trying to just figure out everything now that all the pieces are slowly coming together i think this is a good time for me to start vlogging and show you guys you know what my day-to-day -day is i guess oh are you comfy huh <laughs> You're lucky we gave you a shower yesterday or else you would not be lying here right now. Who do you think you are, huh? First day of work. Wish me luck. New shoes. Mm, got my handy dandy backpack. I just got back from yoga, uh, so sorry for my sweaty messiness. I just wanted to share with you guys how my first day went before I hopped into the shower. Um, my first day went well, and yeah, I got in at like 10 a.m. today and I worked until 6 p.m. They provided me with a new laptop, a new MacBook Pro, so that is awesome. Getting my code base to run took a couple of hours, but we got it to work. It is running locally. Um, and then after that, I mainly just went through the documentation of Vue.js. That's what they use on the front end. Uh, I went through that. Hopefully, I will finish it tomorrow and then I can start working on a new feature, which is what I'm most excited about. The work environment is so different from my previous company. It's a much smaller group, so I feel like it'll, it's going to be a lot more intimate. Um, my previous company was much bigger, so I feel like I ha it was a, I had a really hard time meeting people. Besides small talk, it was really hard to actually get to know people on a much deeper level and hopefully I will get that here. They do weekly lunches so every Friday so that should be really awesome. Um, unfortunately I cannot go this Friday because I will be at Splash House but next Friday I'm just excited to get to know everyone and 
they go to a lot of Ethereum conferences, so that should be really exciting. Some are in state, some are out of the states, so that should be a lot of fun, and I will definitely try to vlog all of that if the conferences allow me. I think I said everything I wanted to say, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower, and I'll talk to you guys later. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hmm? What are you doing? And good night. Good morning. Sorry for my messy apartment. I am in the midst of packing because I am moving in two weeks. Today is my second day of work at my new company. And yeah, I'm excited to go and to learn and to work on some new features. I know you secretly want to stay here, Butters. Just let me know. Just let me know, Butters, if you want to stay here. Butters! Just let me know. But he actually really hates the city because he is a Taiwanese mountain dog. So they don't like noise. He doesn't like wheels. So bicycles, scooters. He's terrified. Yeah, so he should be really excited about moving back to like the suburbs. So they want me to get in at 10 o'clock this week because um, that's usually when all the other developers come in. They say that I can go in later or earlier starting next week. So I got some time to kill. So I'm gonna make myself a protein shake. I love carbs, I love bread, I love rice, I love chips, but the, this past like month-ish, I've been trying to lower my intake of carbs, at least on the weekdays, and it's been a struggle. Um, mostly did it just to see if I could do it. I don't know, I feel like my body does feel more fit, but that could also be from working out. I may have to go full keto to see like really crazy results, but I don't know if that'll happen because I love carbs way too much. Just like lowering my carb intake on the weekdays is already hard enough, but I may also need to better prepare my meals. I haven't really been doing that, so I think preparation is key. <laughs>